Welcome, happy spring. And I hope you're enjoying this beautiful equinox time. It's a really special and sacred time of the year. Now, a few months ago, you might remember that I was encouraging you wildly to not do your New Year's resolution at the beginning of the year because it's winter time and your body, just like water, is more frozen and internal. Now spring, as the sun is starting to go higher in the sky for longer days, we can start to feel that bursting forth energy within us. So I want to give you three tips today on how to embrace in a healthy way the benefits and the beauty of, of the cycles of spring. My first tip is about cleansing. Now everybody wants to know about cleansing. And yes, springtime is the best time to do and begin a cleanse. So we want to think about cleansing the body both physically and emotionally. It's not just physical. And we always want to approach the body with kindness and respect and gentleness. To emotionally cleanse in spring, we look to the organ of the liver. And the liver is one of my favorite organs, as you might know. It has over 500 functions. And the negative emotion associated with it is anger. So now is an amazing time to release old resentments, grudges, anything from the past that's trailing along with you, bringing you down. So I like to do um, either water or fire cleansing, right? So for me, I love to go to the ocean or to soak in Epsom salt or mineral baths. And in that time, I envision the release of those, those lingering emotional ties. And as well as writing letters to, you know, things from the past or people and then purifying them and releasing them in a fire. Now to physically support your body in the spring, there's lots of things you can do. And I want to tell you about nettle, dandelion, turmeric, reishi. These are some of my favorite um, liver supporting herbs. And you can drink those as teas or check out my blog for some recipes on how to incorporate these things into your meals. Now, my second tip for you is about movement. It's, this is a time when you're starting to bustle with the enthusiasm of life and the spring is, you know, full of sunshine and the energy of bursting forth. But do it kindly. So go ahead and start a yoga class and invite your friends for a walk in the park instead of a meal. Um, begin walking and looking at nature and look for the seeds coming up through the ground. Look at the buds on the trees. My third tip is water. Anybody who knows me knows that I want you to start your day every day with water. Every function of your body works better when you're well hydrated. Okay, those are my three tips for spring. And if you enjoyed this video, and I sure hope you have, go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment. I want to hear what you liked, what you want to hear more of. Thank you so much.